Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I'm continuing to come and, and speak here to give out information about the spiritual ascension path. It is not, those information are not given to, to create rules and dogmas and limitations. They're just here to inspire the, the, the desire, the passion to seek out the spiritual things and matter. All those processes I, exp I talk about here are some things I'm working on. For, for so, so, it doesn't mean I have mastered those things, but they feel right to me, so I feel it is good to, to, um, to express them. For we have to become outer and uh, inner and outer master. For the outer reality does not really exist yet. It is very, very uh, tangible to us. It is what feels the most real to us. And so uh, we have to stay focused on that hologram, to stay neutral, to transmit the negativity, and to love all creation as much as possible, to love ourselves regardless, to love nature, animals, plants, trees, people. Even our enemies need love so we can disengage from the cords that connects us to us. What we seek is to expand this lower, this light, this lower frequency of light into this physical plane by expanding our aura. And uh, to be very aware of the, of the physical holographic nature of reality, not to get involved in drama, but balancing the negativity as much as we can. Uh, to, before we accept anything, uh, when we ask, accept something as true, we need to experience it. So it is, a, it, it is an integration process and we want to become as sensitive as possible to our many aspects of our higher self uh, and a higher mind, uh, to get the impulses of our higher mind in order to receive the guidance from our, from our guides and spirit. For when we came into this reality, we, lost, we get lost in sensory experiences. And so uh, we, we lost the ability to turn within, to stay connected to our inner source. And uh, our masters, uh, the masters and guides that are pro guiding our life, cannot uh, go down below the midpoint of the fourth dimension. It would be too uncomfortable for them. They very rarely come down. Only the I am presence is capable of picking us up when we fell too low in emotional frame and scale. Um, for the ego is part of our physical selves, it was, selves, selves, it was given to us by, uh, to, to, to give us a sense of individuality over time, but it is, uh, it, is, uh, it is instrumental in creating an illusion and, and focus exclusively on, on the material world, material plane. It is, it is promoting the separation, the, the, the selfishness, the fear and the sense of scarce, scarcity. And so, so it, it, is, it is very much the, the opposing force to ascension. We seek to activate the DNA code of our higher self and to work, uh, to, to, to work with our right brain, the intuition, to stay connected to our soul and that can, to, to achieve that, that understanding of divine wisdom and stay well centered, to have mental and emotional discipline, to allow ourselves to be centered at zero point in the heart as well as in all the mental planes, so to stay centered and focus in our mental plane. I'm going to pull a few cards for I have to leave here on Sunday. I'm not really sure where I'm going. Spirit is talking to me about friends, clients, uh, freedom, money. But I have not, right now, I, 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 there is none of that manifesting. I'm trying to find a shelter when I get to come. I'm really not sure. I don't see myself living as a, as a homeless person. Uh, so I may leave this reality altogether if nothing manifests. But... Um, it is all, uh, we, we to say that no matter what, it is part of destiny to, to, to fulfill whatever. If we are pushed out, then we, we will continue the works on, on, the north, on the other side. For the, the situation is the freedom of fear. It is the, the fool. It is the, the, the leap of faith. We have to make leaps of faith. It is not easy to focus on abound, to be, to feel completely abandoned, to feel completely uh, secure when we feel uh, when we have no, nothing to eat. And uh, I still have been able to feed, but uh, the, the, no shelter, nothing to eat. Uh, no money and to feel like in complete abundance and luxury and calm and peace so it is very very much a challenge to to the, the, to accept the paradox to to let go of expectation and already feel that and so the fool is taking us to be free of fear for fear is a great enemy it is the great illusion it is the the only the, the only thing we should fear for what comes around the situation is the holocaust it's the destruction of all that we believe to be true everything is the house of god that is being shaken for for so it is a time of healing what we see before us However, what Spirit is presenting me is the, God, the Rose Garden. It is a pass of ease, the pass of grace, the pass of joy, the pass of freedom, the pass of abundance. Even if it is not manifested in physicality, it is still presented within my mind. And so I am able to, to, to feel that in an event. And so 
I was, and I'm looking forward to, to letting go of all those limitations and to be as gracious as possible in accepting the limitation of, the, of my physical reality uh, and merging within this, this field to, to open, to allow the, 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 the blessings and the abundance to come in. For uh, what we see in our, in our hopes, in our, in, our, in our subconscious, the distant past is the magic carpet. It is Aladdin. It is the, the magic of, of being carried by the universe. For a long time, there was no, life was easy and flowing for me at least it was I never had much money but I always had plenty enough to share with everyone to be generous to enjoy myself and to, to share with the world and so it was all the past of ease and, and we already have uh, grant, we have been granted this, this salvation it is just a matter of, uh, of, uh, of allowing ourselves to pass through this adverse experience right now it is how she spin it is Maya Maya is the illusion with spinning and even with spinning and um, we, we are creating this illusion day after day. Most humanity lives in the, the lower three aspect of the fourth dimension. It's like a, this semi-nightmarish uh, awakened reality. We're not fully awake, so, so we cannot. F so we need to elevate ourselves above that. What's coming in the near future is the lovers. So it's a new relationship. It is love. It is this will, will change, shift the energies. For when we find true love, we find this true connection with someone else. We we, we feel empowered, and so mostly me because I have my moon in score. So uh, I've decided to, to become celibate for a few, um, few years ago, but it doesn't really work for me. Well, with a situation with we are all different we, we, we seek to, to teach what we are learning ourselves and some of our students may or may not be uh, uh, open to, to what we teach it's, it's all it's all part of a great process and so everybody's got to, to, to do whatever we feel as we, we truth we, we have to experience and we have to feel it out see what resonates with us this card represents us it's a fire of sacrifice it's letting go of something in order to achieve something else what comes to us from the outside world is the wave of bliss it's love it is joy it is purity. It is a, it is a great uh, a great freedom and ecstasy. So so uh, we are willing to to be open to that to receive that. What we feel in our inner emotion, our hopes and fears. Well, there is great paradox and contrast within reality right now. It is a horse play. It is the ability to enjoy our life. To, to, to be free, the horses uh, like to run free, and the outcome is Mercury. It is self empowerment. It is the magician. It is the power of magic. But magic is allowing the mystery, or allowing the unknown, the, the the trust in the unknown that that magic could happen. Letting go of outcome and allowing allowing it. The path of this resistance is a is a winding road. For sometimes we need to get gather information all over the place before we actually get to the point of freedom, and so. Um, so, so we, um, for we, 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 there was many, many parts to our higher self. Eh? We, we, our God self created those twelve rays of uh, of a higher self, and we need to integrate that to to uh, to, to, to open our sacred heart. For our sec within our sacred heart, there is this memory God self. This Adam, this crystalline self, which holds all them. There is an overview of all our past lives, everything we've been through, and and then all the lessons we've learned. And uh, and all the talent we've perfected, so it's a it's it's like a sacred uh, sacred fire memory seed that we we need to connect to in our in our in our sacred heart and. Um, for, for our brain, our brain needs to stay in contact with our soul and our, our other soul, and for that it needs the mind. The mind needs to stay open through the, the, the right brain, for we, we need to, to, to elevate ourselves as much as possible on the emotional level to the midpoint of the fourth dimension, the astral plane, and stay focused on neutrality while remaining harmless in our thoughts, not to have violent thoughts toward others or the world or, or brut brutality within our thoughts to calm down. For our sacred, eventually we have to open this sacred triad of the sacred mind the sacred heart and our diamond core cell God cell and uh, for tranquility begins in the, in the lowest as lower part of the fifth dimension eh? so it's like we're starting to our mind becomes completely tranquil and, and integrated and then it increases as we evolve through the fifth dimension on the sixth dimension we integrate fully our immortality I have, I have touched upon those, those frequency and the seventh dimension is the the apex of individual ascension that opens the portal of infinity and we connect to our, our group soul and so uh, I'm going to finish with a song that went through my mind. I'm going to just sing it brief briefly. I mean, I may not be able to make uh, other, make more videos, so I, I will. Um, I'm going to shoot another one for tomorrow. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to keep my phone open or access internet, or so if I'm not no longer 
communicating is because I cannot. But yet uh, there is possibility for, 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 for breakthroughs that are also there. It's a song, uh, Jim Denver, it goes like this. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. <clears throat> I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking, it's early morning. The taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn. I'm already so lonesome I could cry. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you wait for me. Hold me like you never let me go. Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Oh babe, I hate to go. Now the time has come to leave you. One more time, let me kiss you. Then close your eyes and I'll be on my way. Dream about the days to come when I won't have to live alone. About the times when I won't have to say. Kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Oh babe, I hate to go. Somewhat of a short version. I'm going to pull four more cards. Whenever I have doubt, spirit is like bringing well, champagne into my head. So, so maybe they're, they're, they're preparing something good for me, my higher self, my, my, my guides, my, my God self. The highest wisdom for us is temperance, not to be and go into extreme, to allow as much as possible our light side to be, tam to, to be dominant over our darker aspect, our shadow side, our fearful side, our... Um, our doubtful side and to so that we can become master of ourselves rather than being slave of ourselves when we become ego dominated. What we need to um, understand is reconciliation, to reconcile with this part of ourselves that is suffering, that is that is wounded, that is in so we want to reconcile with um, also with, with other people, with ourselves. What we need to do is, uh, is indulgence. We have to, to stay focused, not to be too indulgent. I think it is uh, really what the message of the card is, to, 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 be, uh, to, be, to be merciful with ourselves when we feel like we need to be indulgent, but to stay as me mentally disciplined and emotionally focused as possible. And the outcome is complementarity. We're going to find into the world the complementarity as we complete our peace in the, in the process. We'll be able to, to complete the world as well. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I wish you a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.